All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we are going to make Devin Haney fans real mad because it looks like the WBC <laughs> is trying to let Ryan off the hook, man. It looks like the WBC is trying to let Ryan off the hook. Now, I am reading something into what they wrote, but you better believe that it is at least an update of where they're looking because there's two parties involved in what's going on with uh, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. That's the New York State Athletic Commission and the WBC. But let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, uh, looks like the WBC is trying is seriously contemplating letting Ryan Garcia slide. If you listen to the press release that they put out, which I will go over with, uh, I will go over with you. Uh, but before I do that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And also thank you to everybody that supports in the super thanks of videos like this. It's a great way to sponsor uh, content creators. Um, you know, boxing is a small niche. So, you know, not getting a ton of advertisers and stuff pouring through this sector. So you guys like the content? Support the content, me and uh, and or other people. If you don't like me, go find somebody to support. Um, and not just with your not just with your lips and pause. Anyway, so let's go through this and I'm going to tell you what I think it means. Ryan Garcia's adverse findings. WBC results management process update it as it has been widely publicized around the world. The contents of Ryan Garcia's A and B sample containers collected on April 19th and April 20th of 2024 yielded adverse analytical findings for Osterine. Osterine is a selective androgen receptor modulator, SARM. Osterine and all SARMs are banned substances at all times under the WBC clean boxing program. Upon receiving the notification of the adverse findings, the WBC immediately started its result management process under the governing C WBC CBPs, CBPs being um, not sure what CBPs are, uh, testing and results management guidelines. Clean boxing program, that's what it is. The WBC's clean boxing programs, testing and results management guidelines. Under that process, the WBC notified Mr. Garcia of the adverse findings provided provided him with information about his right to witness the opening of the B sample container and to have the contents of the B sample container tested. The B sample containers contents also yielded adverse analytical findings for Osterine. In addition, the WBC's result management unit's notification to Mr. Garcia requested available information and or documents to assist the unit's determination of the circumstances leading or reasonably related to the adverse finding. The WBC's result management unit anticipates receiving the available information requested towards the end of June. Meantime, in the meantime, the WBC has continued to investigate the pharmacological uh, characteristics of Osterine, the details of the test results that led to the adverse finding and other and any other explanation that might relate to the adverse findings. WBC, the WBC will continue to provide updates of the process it's undertaking as additional information becomes available. Now, why do I say that I think they're looking for a way to let Ryan Garcia slide? Because they say in the meantime, the WBC has continued to has continued to investigate the pharmacological uh, characteristics of Osterine. 
The details of the test results and uh, that led to the adverse findings and any other explanation that might relate to the adverse findings. <laughs> that all entails what Osterine does, because they're saying they're looking at the pharmacological characteristics of Osterine. So what does that mean? Hey, man, what do you use this for? But hold on. Why do you need to know what they use it for if it's just banned? And since it's just banned, let them go. What do you need to know that for? Well, you need to know that because you may be saying, hold on, man, this is consistent with contamination. And this is not something that produced that we could plausibly see or prove that it gave a competitive advantage to Ryan Garcia. The another reason why you know you should suspect that the WBC is going to do this is this is what the WBC dang near always does. <laughs> the WBC is going to look for a reason to allow a, the fighter to continue to fight. That is not something that you can call that a good thing. You can call that a bad thing. All I'm saying is that is something that I consistently see with the WBC, that the WBC, whether it is something like Canelo Alvarez, whether it was Alex, Alexander, Alexander Povetkin, or it's Dillian White, or it is um, what took place with, um, or if it's what took place with Alyssa Bumgardner, it almost, it seems as if they go out of their way to be like, ah, we don't really know unless you can really, 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 truly, truly, truly prove it. We're going to let it slide. The WBC even let claims that a woman was literally a male slide. <laughs> and then when they and that was like the, of the times that I can remember them really saying something about about a, a fighter is they suspended a a uh, a woman's boxer who from having ele elevated testosterone. But. She had actually been accused by multiple people of having been a transitioned male, right? That was fighting women. So, you know, it was like, it was almost kind of like with that one, it was like, all right, well, yeah, we'll take this one and not that one, you know, worse of two dramatic, pick the the easier of two dramatic situations, right? The elevated testosterone versus the, you know, elevated Adam's apple. But at the end of the day, um, I suspect that this is what's going to happen and I could be wrong. I'm not telling you, by the way, I'm not telling you what I want to happen. I'm telling you what I think will happen. I think the WBC, I don't think the WBC is going to sanction Ryan Garcia at all. I don't think he will. You're looking at the characteristics of Osterine and all the other explanations of why it could take place. You're clearly not doing strict liability. So the question is how long, if and how, if and if so, how long will the uh, New York State Athletic Commission suspend Ryan Garcia. When you're looking at the pharmacological characteristics of Osterine and and the details of the of the actual tests for for um for Ryan, it seems as if it's not something that experts are going to tell them gave him any competitive advantage. Um, and uh, you're really going to be looking for, at least I think, a puni punishment that's based just off strictly off the fact that it got into a system, whether or not it was contaminated, whether or not it was contaminated or not. They're going to want to they're going to want to do something to him. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, and with that, I'm out. And thank you guys so much for continuing to watch the channel, supporting me through these conversations. I know sometimes we go through the same thing a bunch of times, but I have to document it. I'm an old man. I'm getting to be an old man. I need to document these things as they go because people will come to the live stream saying things and I want to have a separate statement out there about them. But anyway, that's my take. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Deuces.